Hi guys, welcome to Learn Electronics Repair. I've been upgrading my camera system and microphone system, I know some of you have noticed, and I have also bought myself this. Now, although this is part of my camera system, I think this might be quite useful for repair work as well. So I'll just show you briefly, because a few of you have asked or commented what I've changed recently, and then let's have a look at this. So here is my system as it stands. Uh, you can see I'm just pointing at one of the screens. This is the OBS, which is recording. This is my other screen, which I can actually angle inwards across the desk. I have to move it, so that's been very useful. I've added a uh, video capture device, this one, the 4K capture device. Um, which has proved very useful at the moment. I can capture from HDMI devices, but I'm looking to add a VGA to HDMI converter so I can capture from old retro PCs. That's my very dirty mix. You can see which sliders I use and which ones I never use. That's my microphone mixer. Now, I've upgraded the microphone, so the one on the right, you can see, is the Audio Technica and this is an omnidirectional mic the one next to it is my old one currently unplugged but i've just left it there you see that it's suspended over the overhead lighting above the bench so that's how i have the setup at the moment you can also see the new webcam on the top of the monitor here which is a 2k webcam auto focus it's working rather well i also have a logitech brio HD 4K Ultra camera coming, but it's got delayed in the post and ended up stuck in the UK. So when I go over in January or February, or maybe I get my mother-in-law to post it to me, I will also have that, and then I'll effectively have three webcams plus the overhead. Now let's have a look at this, which is going to be part of my lighting setup, but as I say, I think this may also be useful for electronics repair. This is the fill lamp or photography light that I bought. You can see they are 21 euros, just over with free shipping. I actually bought this version, which was 24.50, which has the little adjustable stand. And I hope to use this to improve the lighting on the workbench. A few people have said sometimes it's a little bit dark. It's also useful as a fill light onto myself, although with this new webcam, it looks like the color balance is a lot better. Hopefully I don't need to use it for that. And this is what it is. It's uh, 11 inches across or so the specification said. It looks a little bit smaller to me, actually. We will see. Oh, it's 11 inches. I'll give it that, it is 11 inches across diagonal. It's very light, not much weight in it. Uh, it has 240 LEDs, it says. And we can switch the color temperature. So this is not an RGB one. This is a standard white one. And it has settings for, I think it is for cold, white, warm, white, and something else. And it has a remote. So first of all, we'll try it as a photography lamp. And then what I'm thinking is, this may be very useful because it'll lie flat to put PCBs on top and we can see th the tracks through the PCB on double-sided boards. And that's why I think it might be useful for electronics repair. So this is the stand, fairly simple. Just a uh, telescopic thing, yeah, if it's stiff. It's about 12 inches or so high. And we can just attach it to the light, okay. I think this actually is very bright. I did plug it in to see if it was working and it certainly kicked out a lot of light. So I'll just put this just off the shot there. I will plug this in and let's see. So you'll either see this illuminate me or you will see it illuminate the bench. Uh, okay, yeah, that is bright. I don't think that really works well on the uh, face cam. I seem to have some flicker coming from it. Yeah, switch it off. Let's try to shine it. I can angle this downwards on the stand and we can try it on the bench. 
If you can see a dark um, patch to my upper left on the webcam, the webcam actually is defective. It's the lens is out of line slightly. My friend uh, gave me this, and after the weekend, he's going to give me another one, which doesn't have that defect. Okay, so we now have the fill lamp on the bench, and I think that actually works quite well. Let's try something. So here we have a motherboard. Yeah, obviously you get the glare. It comes in from one side, yeah. But it, it, may, it may be useful for looking into amplifiers and things, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to give glare. Maybe two of them, one either side would be better. But I'm pretty impressed with that. Has a remote with it, so we can try core temperature. Okay, I put the uh, lamp just to one side. We can see how well this works. I'll angle it downwards as far as it will. Okay, we take a motherboard, we switch it on. Okay, so that is on, and that's on minimum brightness. Just off again. Doesn't have a lot of effect at that brightness. Let's turn it up. Okay, so that is now up onto full brightness. Off. Definitely has an effect now. But I think it actually causes dark shadows on the board. I'm not convinced that actually improves. No, I don't think that improves the lighting. Maybe if I put it above me, we can try. It is now directly above the camera, angled downwards. Let's switch this on. <sighs> yeah. Too much glare, guys. I'm not overly impressed with that, but it was worth a try. It was worth a try, that is for sure. Switch that off again, yeah. Well, let's try it for the other purpose, which is can we use it to look through PCBs to see where the tracks go. Here is a PCB, double-sided. This is the one where it has a burn hole all the way through it. Let's try that. Oh, well, yes, we can certainly see through it. That is for sure. I mean, this thing is ridiculously bright. You can see that on the camera, yeah. Just switch it off for a moment. Okay. Let's try uh, just a couple bits of cloth. We'll just put one either side of it to block the light out and then we get a much better idea. Okay. This will hopefully work. So two bits of cloth or just old dusters. Switch it on. Ah, oh, yeah. Now we can see it. Maybe a little bit more cloth, something a bit thicker actually probably required. That is really bright. It's probably too bright. Let's just turn it down a bit. Ah, yeah. Now that looks good. I'll zoom down. Okay, you can see it. We can again adjust the brightness. Yeah, I can clearly see the tracks on both sides of the board. That's for sure. Yeah. That is quite nice, actually. That is quite nice. I like it. Yeah. We can alter the core temperature, which will kind of like it make it a bit more yellowy. That doesn't seem to make much difference. Back to the harsh, cold white again. Yeah, guys, I do believe the thing I bought is actually going to be useful, but not as a fill light. Okay. It would be interesting now, I think, to buy an RGB one, which is probably not much more expensive, so we can try that and see whether the different coloured lights uh, make a difference. So yeah, I'll get an RGB one ordered as well, that would be nice to try, but uh, if you guys want to buy one of these for the price, I can recommend it, to be quite honest. For working on PCBs like this, I can clearly see the tracks on both sides of the board. That really helps when you're trying to reverse engineer parts of circuits to see where things are going to. 
so there you go guys yeah i'll give that a, a yes it works i will definitely go and buy an rgb one it will no doubt turn up sometime in january and then we can try that as well if you'd like to wait a little bit and then you can make your own mind up if you want to buy one which is the better i'm just thinking maybe rgb will effectively allow us to see the tracks on the other side of the board better but this one itself just by adjusting the brightness seems to do that but before we go let's have a look at the ghetto version yeah guys you all love the ghetto version so i have here uh, a phillips uh, monitor with a broken screen panel but the backlighting works this connection goes down to the backlighting led and if we put some power on this and i switch it on and hopefully i can shadow this enough so you can see it yeah you've got it there so the backlighting is working so what can we do with a monitor with a broken screen panel well how about if we remove the screen panel and then use it to look through our pcbs yeah let's see if this works i've not tried this so i have no idea how this is going to pan out yeah but <laughs> live dangerously let's see what happens and there we have it the camera's flickering a bit i think something to do with the color but switch it on and it lights up yeah put the pcb on it it went out it's back on again and it might work it's just that i need to put some cloth or something on here so it's not actually blowing out the camera i can actually see it let me do that well guys in true ghetto style i've cut some pieces of corrugated cardboard let's try it now oh yes okay come back on again i think i think it just switches off and on and then stays on there you go so there we have it i mean to be honest with you guys this is comfortable enough to look at it's only the camera that's having problems to uh show you the image properly if you know what i mean it's kind of like blowing out the camera a little bit because of the white the exposure of the setting i guess on the camera but actually that really is very comfortable to work on let me turn off the overhead lighting yeah i think you can probably see it a bit better now okay so there is something you can actually do with a broken led monitor i think i zoomed down a little bit better yeah i think you can see better now so we could just move it around look at that guys yeah you can see the tracks on both sides clearly this actually is not as dazzling to the eye as the other one although i could adjust the brightness on the other one i think we'd have to say that the ghetto version of this really works really well so would you believe it's something we can actually do with a broken led monitor you can see me as well now guys i was a bit in the dark there yeah but i hope you guys have seen the light <laughs> okay you've seen the light hope you enjoyed that one i love doing these ghetto things i think it's just a lot of fun hopefully maybe the next time you see a monitor with a smash screen you will not just think it is worth nothing although it isn't really worth anything you'll probably get it for nothing I'll see you all soon on another hopefully illuminating learning electronics repair video. Hope you're having a good festive season and ciao for now guys.